Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Now that we're in Chapter 5, we have access to the tactics in the game. You can select any character besides the hero for them, and you can assign tactics to them individually, not just the whole party like in the NES version. But uh, they're essentially the same thing, except now we have follow orders where you just enter commands in normally, like in other Dragon Quest games. You do not have that option in the NES version, though. One thing I want to do is I want to check out Bally Morale. I'm not going to talk to everyone here, but pretty much the reason why I'm coming here is to get the Zoom location on my warp list, because all the Zoom locations you had before, they're gone. So you got to get them again. Oh, really? Oh, how sweet. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, all that money-making stuff we did in Chapter 3? Yeah, you can't use that anymore, because now they have their armor. So, yeah. Oh, well. Well, at least they're getting along now. Now they got a new armor shop here. Uh, nothing that fancy there, but... Well, there you go. And by the way, you cannot zoom to Lakanaba, so I'm not even going to bother walking up there. And I'm not going to talk to everyone at these old towns. I mean, some of them say new and interesting things, but... Uh, at, uh, what is it? Well, at Bally Morale? Eh, not so much. Oh good, it's almost night time. Well, let's take on these guys now that we got a... Well, a fully stocked up party. Well, almost fully stocked. Yeah, Solo, not gonna do too much at level 1. You might almost want to just have him defend until he gets more HP. From gaining a level, alright. But anyway, remember I told you back in Chapter 3 not to take all the treasure in this cave? Well, now we can! Yeah, the reason I was saving it is for Chapter 5, because this stuff is much more useful to us now. So, eh, Holy Lance, don't really need that. I wonder why you would need that in Chapter 3. I don't think Torneko can equip it, can he? Well, maybe he can, I forget. You, I usually just stick him on the Cottery Store. Okay, so now we got two groups of enemies, so... Hmm. You know what? Let's actually use the Bang spell. That way it'll hit both groups of enemies. It does cost quite a bit of MP, so you want to be a little careful with using that spell. But otherwise, it's pretty nice. We should be able to take out the remainder of them. Unfortunately, Solo cannot equip that Holy Lance we got earlier, but we're going to find something else for him here. And looks like Solo's gaining levels like mad! Ooh, and we learned the heal spell. Yeah, you don't get that in the NES version. He only learns the heal more spell. We want to try and keep his HP up as much as we can, though. Uh, it is heal more, right? I think that's what it's called. Well, whatever it is. Yeah, he doesn't get the ordinary healing heal spell. And that can be pretty bad for him, actually. Especially in the first dungeon that we're really going to go through with him. So, this one doesn't exactly count. These are still the same enemies as before, but, well, we got a different party now, so... You suck, Maya! You can't even deal more damage than Solo can. But she is a mage, so... Gotta keep Solo on the back there for a while. Ooh, we got Frizz! That'll be pretty nice for him in case uh, he ever gets dazzled or you're fighting an enemy who has really high physical defense. Yeah, the battles are starting to take a little longer, so I'm going to start editing them out now when they take a while. But here we get an Iron Lance that I believe Solo can use. So let's check that out. Yeah, there we go. That's why I didn't buy a better weapon for him, because we can find stuff here. I don't really consider it cheap, uh, saving this stuff for Chapter 5. It's a perfectly legitimate strategy, I think. I mean, I'm not cheating the game or anything like that. No, that's how I look at it. Let's see. Gotta get back up to that upper level, uh, or the lower level. Yeah, yeah, the lower level. There's a couple more chests here. Like the Iron Armor. If you didn't get the Spangled Dresses, you'd want to give that to... Uh, solo there, but since I did get the Spangled Dresses, I just gave Mina's Iron Armor to Solo there, off-screen. Well, between episodes there. So. Alright! 
in this chest we get the Mighty Steel Broadsword. Yeah, that's pretty expensive for Solo there, but it's the best weapon he can get for quite some time. So, all right, there we go. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's just zoom to Endor then. Oh, wait! Uh, ow. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I have to evacuate out of here first. Yeah, zoom doesn't work in dungeons. Only in the top floor of a tower or something like that. So, let's get back to Endor then. Now that we actually have the money, I want to buy some stuff. Or if I don't have the money, I can just sell the excess equipment that I got. So, yeah, it's kind of a way of carrying money over from one chapter to the next. One other thing you can do to get a lot of money is if you've been accumulating those tokens at the casino there, you can use them to buy uh, those wizard's rings or whatever, the, the prayer rings, and they can be sold for like like two grand or something ridiculous like that. So, but now what I want to do is get iron shields for Mina and Solo there, and then we should pretty be pretty well decked out in gear. So yeah, if you're short on money, just go to the casino, and that's how you can sort of convert your casino tokens into money there. It's ridiculously good. I'm not going to take advantage of that, but you can if you want. Now, there is a little bit of dialogue here at night, so let's use the night lights. Kind of odd that you would use a nightlight to make it darker, but, well, whatever works for the logic of the game. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. Well, how am I supposed to save my game? No, you do that at the church over there. Not that I'm going to be doing that, but... Huh. I'm trying to think of a, fa a line from Family Guy. Get your fat ass over here. I don't know. You got me on that one. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, they were kind of telling us about that at Bally Morale. What the? Some reward? <laughs> Chopping wood. Well, you could probably imagine the analogy and who the child was, but, well, if, for those who can't, I won't spoil it for you. You could probably assume who the guy at the lodge up there is, too. But, okay, well, anyway, let's head on east. Ho! Just like Mina told us to. If you went here with Solo, well, Solo, then it wouldn't end well for you. Yeah, the enemies here get much stronger. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal some weed from the back of your house. Thanks. What's in the well? Oh, nothing. Oh, well. But anyway, if you try to go south through the desert there, you can't because you don't have a horse with no name. No. I can't believe I referenced that song. I'm just going to steal your packed lunch before you go to work. Thanks. Hey, Big Hank! How's it going? That was my nickname in high school. Because, well, it's pretty big. I'm like six foot one. Sure, why not? Well, sounds like a plan. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Didn't mean to bother you, man. It seems pretty heavy. Okay, let's go. Oh, so that's where that cave is. Mary Lou, is that supposed to be uh, a pun or a reference or something? I don't know, but uh, man, that's terrible. Maybe we should investigate. Maybe if we help the poor guy out, we'll uh, he'll let, lend us his wagon. Paint your wagon? No. Nah. No, nah, just using it. Did it just thunder out there? The sky is as clear as day. Huh. But anyway, we got, well, not new enemies. You could have met up with them back in Chapter 1. But uh, these are Pixies. And I want to use the Sizz spell against them. Because it's just one group. They can cast Accelerate, which, well, as you saw, boosts their agility. And that's no good. So, fortunately, we're still faster than them because they're so weak. Yeah, you could have met up with them back at the uh, Lactour. Ah, and we got some more new enemies here.
here. All right, Jinxters, which you could have met up with in Chapter 4. And I think Mandragores are completely new. I don't think you could have met up with them before. So let's use Bang to take them all out. Now, in the NES version, the Jinxters will, not, will have enough MP to hit you with spells. For some reason, they didn't give them enough MP in this version of the game. I, I don't know why. Maybe they're jinxed. I don't know. You might want to get up to level 7 to learn Sizz for solo there, but yeah, I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. But uh, I do want to give all the medical herbs or any other such items to solo there. Probably be a good idea, especially if you're playing the NES version. But uh, we should be fine. I don't think there's any random encounters here. Yeah, let's make sure we're at full there. Especially solo. You can only break down those stone walls with three characters. Which now we can't do anymore. Nuts. Oh, there they are. Well, hey, where are you going? Come back! Okay, let's move along then. Find a way to get out of here. Well, all right. But... What the? I mean, they were monsters all this whole time? Nuts. Phew. Fortunately, nuts. Well, now I'm dazzled, so... This is why they give you the frizz spell, in case you get dazzled. So that way, well, you can still damage them. Uh, dazzle will eventually wear off. So hopefully it'll wear off before I run out of MP. Because this is taking a while. Obviously, if I had the Sith spell, that would make life a lot easier. But I don't. All right, there we go. We recovered. Man. How could they betray me like that? What is with this cave anyway? Who's that over there? What the? What's going on here? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 4! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!